they need to do like you know a Twitch commercial. You know, like when you're forced to watch an ad before you tune into a stream, put some of those out there. Uh, I don't know what the what is involved in it, but if you could get the game on Steam, that would be a flood of players that would try it. If it's in the free to play section of Steam, so many people will give a shot to a game. Do y'all remember that? I know I do. This is from the podcast I did with Guild MM and Mighty Teapot in late June. That video went up on July 1st, but there has been a very long time now I have been saying that if the game, Guild Wars 2, were to be on the free-to-play section of Steam, a lot of people would try it out. They would stumble across it, be like, oh, hey, this is still here. Maybe do some promotional stuff on there. And today, they announced that Guild Wars 2 is coming to Steam. They had an almost three hour long Twitch stream where they spent a lot of time talking about the challenges of working from home and what that does for them in their industry, things like that. But there was a few very important points I would like to TLDR right now. And the first of which is the game is coming to Steam. Now, here's what we know so far. Here are the facts we've got. One, the Steam release will be sometime in November. Two, they will be on the same existing servers. That means that if you log into Gate of Madness, where I reside on the North American servers from the non-Steam version, or access Gate of Madness from Steam, we can see one another. Uh, three, you cannot convert an existing account to be a Steam account, and also if you make a Steam account, you can't convert that to be an existing account. What follows is my speculation. Any product you put on Steam, if you make a sale through that, Steam gets a cut of it. The trade-off is a lot more people see your product. It is completely possible that the store, the gem store, through Steam, will be coded differently. Again, this is muckluck specu speculation. So it is possible the prices through Steam might be different, or it is possible that the prices will be the exact same, but Guild Wars 2 will lose a bigger cut of it to Steam for people that are on the Steam store, so they will want to keep those people separate. Again, this is just educated guessing. I do not know 100% for certain. But what is important is we'll all be able to play together, and there will be a lot more new people in the game. Second to that are today's patch notes. The underwater skimmer came out today. At the moment of recording this, it is bugged as heck, and people can't get it. Uh, during the live stream, they addressed the mobs of people that were in the Twitch chats saying stuff's broke, and they said that they do have a team of people currently working on it, uh, and they apologized and said that this did not show up in QA testing. Uh, having worked in QA before, it's unfortunate as heck, but I completely believe that. You know, if you've got a bug that happens for every one in 1,000 people, and you've got 300 QA testers, which I know they don't, then it's not going to show up in QA testing, most likely. And then, you know, you ship that out to a few million people, and suddenly a massive chunk of the player base is have it hitting a problem that never showed up when you tested it. So they're getting hit with that right now and they are trying to address it. Along with the underwater skimmer came an underwater skimmer skin that appears to be a horrific amalgamation of a underwater turtle and a skimmer and it does have the eyeballs for both creatures. Somehow cute though? Next up, if you've logged in and you haven't already noticed, there is a gift for you in the shop. There's a customer appreciation package that is zero gems. You just have to claim it, which appears to have a black line key and a black line chest, as I have seen from the screenshots. Again, at the time of recording this, I haven't been able to log in and check myself. Next up is that Path of Fire, which comes with Heart of Thorns for free, is currently 50% off if you get the standard or deluxe editions and then use the code ANNIVERSARY50 at checkout. They posted this on Twitter and Facebook. The word anniversary is in all caps, so I'm not sure if it's case sensitive. I would do it all caps just to be safe. If you plan on getting Path of Fire with the Heart of Thorns included, either standard or deluxe editions while they're half price, be sure to use somebody's referral link. Just throwing that out there. That link is in my description. And those on-sale prices are available until September 4th. Please note, the Ultimate Edition is not 50% off. Historically, every time they have done a 50% off sale for Standard and Deluxe Editions, the Ultimate Edition was unaffected by the sale because it's already an insane deal. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the Ultimate Edition is the Deluxe Edition with $50 worth of gems for $25 extra. Next up, on September 15th, 
we've got a new fractal coming out. This is the third fractal that will have a challenge mode, a true challenge mode, not talking about the, the gimmicky ones, uh, to be joining the ranks of CM99 and CM100. This one is a mountain fractal meant to be very difficult called Sun Qua Peak. That is from Cantha, for those of you that don't know. So we will be visiting a very holy site in Cantha, and they said there will be a lot of elemental enemies, but they don't want to reveal too much. They did reveal a bit of concept art on the stream, so we've got that to look forward to in the near future. Additionally, while we're on the topic of concept art, apparently this right here was Ryland's original concept art drawn on a dry erase board. Thought that was cute. And finally, at the very end of the three-hour stream, they said they had one more announcement, and they would let it speak for itself. This land, it's a monument to mortal resilience. They built new lives upon the very thing that sought to end theirs. Portals are little flames, brilliant. Hot, then gone. Those who face eternity easily forget what a lifetime means. What an ending means. The Jade Sea. You know it doesn't have to be this way. No, Kunavine. It does. They need me. The cycle is reborn. The end of dragons. And right after they plugged this on the stream, they did uh, hashtag Cantha confirmed. A uh, couple of things here to point out is a monument of mortal resilience. I believe that's talking about our constructions down there, the city itself. They built new lives upon the very thing that sought to end theirs. And then you can see this large stone serpent-like creature that they have built on top of. Many of you already know this, but I did play Guild Wars 1, but I played it one time through. Uh, I enjoyed it the way I enjoy a book. Uh, after I was through that, I was like, that was nice, and I put it on the shelf. So I am very rusty on the lore. I know this is the Jade Sea. I know the modern-day Revenants will channel Jade Wind as one of their ultimates. It is related to this. Now, this bit right here that says, no, Kunavang, it does. A quick search on the wiki says, Kunavang was trapped under the temple by Shiro Tagachi's death, eventually becoming corrupted by his influence. In the unwaking waters, the Kurziks and the Luxons must unite to defeat her so they can use her powers against Shiro. And finally, I'll point out here, in the Guild Wars 2 logo, you notice there is another dragon under the waves. The final dragon that we do not know the name of yet is the Water Dragon. The community has been collectively calling it Bubbles for many, many years because we didn't know the name of it. All we knew is it was the Water Dragon, uh, just as Zaitan was the Dragon of Death, or Dramoth of the Jungle, and, you know, many, many more. Bubbles was the Water Dragon, and it looks like Bubbles is making an appearance in the logo here. At least that is my interpretation of it. Of course, if you are more of a lore junkie than I am and you have any more insight into this than I do, please, I encourage you, correct me. Put it in the comments down below. So to recap, by using the code ANNIVERSARY50 at checkout, you can get the standard or deluxe editions for half price until September 4th. On September 15th, we get a new fractal, which will be the third challenge mode, which is Sunqua Peak. Sometime in November, we'll have probably a flood of new players coming in from the Steam launch of Guild Wars 2. There's a gift in the shop waiting for you. Underwater Skimmer quest line is now available. And finally, make sure if you enjoyed this video, you hit the like button to help us out with the YouTube algorithm. Once again, guys, correct me in the comments. Add any more that you know in the comments. Spread the knowledge around. I don't mind getting corrected, as long as you're right. <laughs> With that, guys, have a good one, and I'll see you next time.